Hey guys, this is Tim and welcome to the Tim Z. Edwards Music YouTube channel. Today's guitar lesson is one of many lessons that I'll be putting out over the next several days regarding strumming. Uh, each video will have a unique, different strumming pattern uh, that I'll share with you and also we'll be practicing each of these strumming patterns using a backing drum track as well to kind of help us with timing and to keep these lessons a little bit more interesting as well. These lessons are intended for beginners primarily, but if you've been playing the guitar for a while, uh, I encourage you to look through these videos and I'm sure you'll um, maybe find something that could be helpful and useful uh, to you as well that you can use in the future. I would like to thank one of my current subscribers, Maria, for suggesting uh, more information and instructional videos regarding strumming. And I hope these help you on your journey of playing the guitar as well. So let's get started. Okay, the first uh, comment I'd like to share with you is just regarding holding the pick, the guitar pick. And, uh, but it's, it's best to hold the, the guitar pick between your thumb and your index finger and just kind of have the, the point of the pick. If you look at, look at this, have the point of the pick, you know, facing uh, in this direction and then just hold it, hold the pick like so. And then while strumming on the guitar, you want to strum over the sound hole. You want to strum the strings over this sound hole is kind of the primary target area where you'll be strumming, okay? The point of the pick is actually pointing toward the sound hole, okay? And I'll just, uh, I'll show you a top view of what that looks like. As far as gripping the pick itself, uh, you, you want to apply enough pressure uh, holding the pick so it will not slip out of your fingers, okay? If, you, if you're not holding the pick hard enough with enough force, then it's going to start rotating on you or possibly slip out of your fingers. If you hold it too hard, then it kind of uh, will not allow your wrist and arm to kind of relax and you'll have a little bit harder strum to that. You could possibly even break some uh, strings uh, in, your, in your playing. So you just, you just kind of want to relax uh, on your grip. Uh, one thing too, as well, is I've got these corks on the pick. I placed, uh, you can buy some uh, pick grips, uh, and I place one of those on the front and the back of my guitar picks as well. And you can see an example of that up above. And if you look in my description below, there's a link to Amazon to where you can actually order these picks. Uh, they're very inexpensive as well, so I encourage you to click on my link maybe after the lesson and you can kind of shop and look at those uh, guitar pick grips. Uh, without these, the picks kind of want to rotate around and I've dropped a lot of picks, but, uh, but I haven't yet dropped a pick uh, using these cork pick grips as well. So I encourage you to kind of take some time to look at that as well. Okay, as far as your strumming, uh, most of the lessons we're going to be concentrated on the, the right hand. If you're a right-handed uh, person, you generally play, most people are, uh, you strum with your right hand and then you use your left hand to, to use the fretboard and, and fingering chords and so forth. But your strumming is always down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, okay? And I'm going to be showing you different rhythms, but the whole key to strumming is keeping a continuous down, up, down, up motion, okay? And some of these strumming patterns, you play all strings down and up. And some of them you won't play on the down stroke. Some of them you won't play on the up stroke as well. And those will be the variations I'll be sharing you between videos on the different strumming patterns. So the different strumming patterns will be, always be strumming up and down. You gotta keep that motion. But some strings you'll play on the up, some you'll play on the down, and some you may not play on the up or down. And that's kind of what I'm going to be sharing with you uh, on those. And we'll be practicing, practicing those kind of strumming patterns. So you don't want to keep your wrist, you know, real straight because then your arm will get tired and you'll wear out. And you got to relax a little bit and let your, your pick just kind of flow over those strings, okay? And when you're strumming over the strings, you want to kind of angle your pick. You know, if you're going strumming down, then the kind of the point of your pick needs to kind of angle up a little bit. Okay, so you want to kind of angle your pick up on the downstrokes 
and then you want to angle the pick down on the upstrokes, okay? Okay, let's talk about timing. Most songs are played uh, in 4-4 four, four time. Uh, if, you, if you've heard people say that what's the time signature of a song, that's what they're talking about. And again, most songs are 4-4 four, four time. Uh, that means there's four beats in a measure, okay? Uh, so the 4-4, four, four, the bottom four, means a, a quarter note. So each quarter note gets one beat. Okay, so there's four beats in a measure. Okay, and a measure is just, an, uh, measures are sometimes called, called bars or measures. I typically use measures. So if there's four beats in a measure, uh, the beats or the rhythm would be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's four beats. One, two, three, four. That's one measure. One, two, three, four, that's two measures. One, two, three, four, that's three measures, okay? All right, now, now some songs are written in three, four time, so there's three beats uh, per measure. So, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? There's quite a few songs in that, and then there's some other uh, time signatures on six eight and so forth but primarily you will have i'll be uh, sharing more videos on four four time because the because the majority of the songs are in four four time some are fast some are slow and they have a variety of the the strumming patterns that i'll be sharing some of those with you over the next few days okay so with that in mind let's practice with a simple four four time again there's four beats per measure and this uh Exercise, we're just going to be strumming the down strokes only, okay? We'll be still having the down up motion, but we're only going to strike the strings or strum across the strings on the down strokes. One for every beat. We'll only strum the strings on beat one, two, three, four, and not on the up stroke, okay? So I'm going to use my left hand and just lightly place over the strings just to kind of mute the strings so they don't sound out, okay? I'm not going to be pressing the strings down to make a chord or anything, okay? Just going to hold my fingers over those, okay? So I'll just do that and we'll kind of concentrate on my strumming hand. So we'll be strumming like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Down, two, three, four. Down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. So the important thing with strumming is keeping the same consistent rhythm, okay? You don't want it to be fast, you don't want it to be slow, unless the song's really dictating that, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, okay? So that's what we wanna do. We're just gonna be do doing the down strokes only, even though you notice my hand going up and down, like that, but I'm only playing the down strokes. One, two, three, four, okay? So let's play that with the backing track, okay? So here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just the down strokes only. No up strokes. We don't strike the strings on the up strokes, just the down strokes. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You're just keeping that timing. Getting close to the end. Ready? Okay, that's good. Okay, now that we've played that, uh, let's play that again, but now let's play that with a chord, and we'll play it with G major. Okay, and I'm gonna use a four finger G major. And to play that, you place finger number one on string number five of the second fret, finger number two on the very top E string of the third fret, and then your third finger on the second string of the third fret, and then your fourth finger on the first string of the third fret, 
and you play all strings. Okay, that's G major. So we'll go back and play with the backing track, just down strokes only, uh, using this G chord, okay? So it'll be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, okay? So let's practice that. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One and two and three, four. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Only strumming on the down stroke. Okay, that's great. Now let's add the upstroke as well. So uh, th typically this is like one and two and three and four and, okay? So we're adding the, the in our count, we're adding the word and in between uh, the beats. So you have four beats. So it's one and two and three and four and. Okay, we're strumming down on the number or the beat strumming up on the word and okay so it's it's one and two and three and four and let's practice that with the muted strings one and two and three and four and down up down up down up down up or one and two and three and four and okay so we're keeping that same time, same, same rhythm uh, and tempo as well. So let's practice this with the backing track. Let's go ahead and play this with a G major chord as well. So not only the down strokes, but, but we'll be playing the up strokes as well. One, two, three, four. One and two. timing with the drums. Don't get too fast, don't get too slow. Okay, let's play that again using the same uh, strumming pattern, down, up, down, up, uh, four beats per measure, but we're going to be changing chords this time. We'll be going from G major to C add nine, okay? And C add nine, all you have to do is take your first two fingers and move them down one string, okay? Keep these two fingers planted on the first and second string of the third fret, and then play all strings but the just top E string. That'll be C add nine. G. G major, you just bring these two fingers up. C add nine, you bring those two fingers down one string. Now, on your strumming, it's important for you to know to change chords, uh, you typically want to change chords on the up strum, okay? Because you don't want to you don't want to stop that rhythm of strumming. If you stop it and you and you have to find the chord, 
you're going to be getting out of rhythm, okay? So when you're strumming down, up, down, up, down, up, on the up stroke is when you want to uh, lift off your hands and be finding your next chord and then land that chord before you hit that down stroke. But you have to strum on that beat, okay? So uh, the key to change the chords is lift off your finger, go ahead and strum your on the up stroke, but you can strum those by muting them. Just slightly lift off the strings on your left hand on making the chord. You can just do a light strum up. And even if you don't hit any chord, uh, just, a, just a very light touch on the up stroke, uh, even though it's not a chord, uh, typically you won't even hear it changing chords. For example, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. See, I'm hitting on and, I'll just lift off these fingers. Got these two fingers planted. One and two and three and four and one, two, three and. But on the upstroke, uh, you just you just don't want to hit maybe the few bottom strings if you hit any, okay? So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, okay? So anytime you're changing chords, just remember, change chords on the up stroke. That's when the fingers are going to be lifting off the string very slightly and move your fingers to the next chord uh, in time for the downbeat uh, strum, okay, to sound that out without breaking rhythm, okay, you got to keep that steady rhythm, okay. So now let's add the change into the chords from G major to C add nine using that same strumming pattern down, up, down, up, down, up, one and two and three and four and, okay. So we'll play through G major one measure, one, one through four beats, and then switch to C add nine for four beats. So we're just going to go back from C major to C add nine throughout this entire exercise, okay? So let's get started. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, that was good. Let's play through one more time, but this time we're going to speed up the tempo a little bit. We're still going to change chords between G major and C add nine, still the down up strumming pattern, one and two and three and four and, but we're going to be speeding the tempo up a little bit. We just got through practicing on 90 beats per minute, so we're going to actually speed it up to about 130 beats per minute. So it's about like this tempo. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so let's practice with the, the drum backing track. Okay, ready? Two, three, play. One and
Okay, if you're uh, new to this, just keep practicing. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure and hit the like button. Uh, let me know that you're enjoying these videos and like to see more of these. If you're not a current subscriber, please subscribe to my channel, like Maria, and uh, you'll be notified when new video lessons have been uploaded. It's free. Just simply bookmarks my channel and your subscription so I can easily be found. Okay? I'd like to thank all my current subscribers as well. So have a great day. God bless you.